here's another update on the neck mechanism. Um, again, this is based off of Torsten's neck mechanism. Um, I have modified it for my specific build, but uh, here you can see I have my servo wires. They go into this piece, which is not pushed all the way in. You can see it's a little bit out, but normally that would slide all the way in and get screwed in with four holes. Um, this gets a magnetic cover and I have the bottom exposed right now. The, the servo wires are going through the neck out here and then there's this which gets bolted in right here. There is another one that gets bolted in right here and then these wires run down the channel and this piece slides over everything. Um, the neck up and down is controlled by this servo and uh, I right now I just have the neck movement um, on a three-way a, a three-way switch uh, so it's not animated or anything but I'll show you so you can see I can go Let's see, I can go like this. So I get a lot of range of movement. So there's a lot of uh, cool stuff, especially once I program the uh, neck to go along with my animations. Um, but yeah, I think it's pretty much done. Everything seems to work uh, mechanically. It has more than enough power to hold my head weight. Um, the wires all go through. Again, they'll go through the bottom. Uh, they'll come through here and, and down here into the body. Um, and these little caps just cover up. Uh, so I'm ready to, I think, call this done. I will do a test with all the 3D printed parts fitted on um, to just check all the tolerances, but I'm excited. I'm moving on to finishing the tracks, I think. One last cool feature, um, because I'm using this type of servo, um, so I obviously I can control it up and down, but what's cool about this servo is right now it has the stall power, so I, I can't push it down, but if I cut power, which right now I'm just gonna press the fuse, so you can see my lights. If I cut power, the servo holds this position. So I don't need to worry about the neck falling. You can see I still can't push it down. So that's just another added feature that I like because it's this kind of servo. Even when the power is cut, it holds the position um, and locks in place, which is super handy for when you're pushing them around or just moving them around.